Hi everybody, this is Kurt Hollowell with another tutorial on our procedural spaceships generator um, for the on the Unity Asset Store. Let's go ahead and dig in. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering the third demo under Assets, Plugins, Procedural Spaceships, and Scenes. So I go ahead and move to that scene and hit play. And what this demo is covering is basically that you can create reproducible results by passing in a random seed. Um, so if I hit new ship, it's going to regenerate the same ship every time. Uh, but if I pass in a different seed value, it will generate a new ship for me. And this does um, a few things for me. Um, it makes it so that when you generate a ship, you can create reproducible results. Basically, you can make it over and over again. And if you want to save an instance of a ship, you can do it by just saving these two variables, basically um, the seed and then the number of points. And if you pass it into the same ship generator, it will create the same ship. So let's adjust number of points. We've gone over this in other tutorials, but that basically dictates the number of points around the perimeter. So if you make this variable small, then you get more simplistic looking ships. Let's see a few of those. Or if you make this number larger, you get some more interesting looking ships. Um, and let's show you how to do this from the code. If you go into the ship generator script, there's public methods called generate ship. And if you don't pass anything into generate ship, basically it will call this other one and just pass in a random seed between 0 and 10,000. Um, if you do pass in a random seed, then it will um, basically generate the same ship over and over again based on whatever the seed you, you pass in is. So that's everything I want to cover in this tutorial. It's um, pretty short, but um, also pretty powerful. You can see um, the value here and being able to recreate different ships just by passing in different variables. and number of points. As always, you can check us out on our website, which is doggydoggames.com, if you want support or just see what other tools or games that we're working on. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter to get the latest and see what we're up to. All right, catch you guys later.